Hey everyone, Paul Carl here. Today I'm going to show you how to automate editing and watermarking your images for your eBay store. Um, this is going to be with trading cards particularly, but you can use these same steps to do anything you want to any images that you want. Uh, so let me show you. Basically, this is going to automate any repetitive process that's always the same, no matter what image you're working on. So if you add a watermark, it's going to be the same no matter what the image is basically if you if you make it a square that's pretty much the same process so what we do here is we go to the actions folder here um, or menu we're going to create a new folder I'm going to call this one demo and we're going to create a new action uh, we'll just leave action for that's fine and click record so now it's recording everything that I do and I'm going to just resize my image first I like to set a thousand for my height on my cards and then uh, for the canvas size, I like to do um, 1300 by 1300, just to give it a little a little breathing room. So there we go. Now we got the nice square. Um, if you've been to my eBay store, this is starting to look really familiar. I bet um, this is where I add the logo. So I have the logo. I Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and I'm just going to drag that down here to the bottom left. I like to make my logo um, pretty low opacity so it's not too in your face or distracting. I just want it to kind of be there but be subtle. So I'll put that at 30%, hit OK, and the card is all done. Um, it's take, taken me maybe like two minutes to edit this image. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, oh, I got to hit save, Control S to save. We're going to save this as a PNG. I'm going to throw it in this folder and just call it that. All right, so now that that's done, I can stop recording. Um, I'm going to close this image out. I'm not gonna save it. And then that one that I just saved, I'm gonna go ahead and delete. Cause we're gonna start over and we're gonna let the Photoshop do it automatically. So we do file, automate, batch. Here I have my folder, box four, row three, I, 1991 upper deck. And then I put it in a subfolder. I just call it SQ, short for square. Um, and then I just hit OK and you can see everything that I did Photoshop is doing right now and while this is optimizing your images for you you can go have lunch get some coffee scan some more cards uh, whatever you want to do you can list the eBay sometimes I'll be scanning cards while the images are uploading in my bulk editor while also in the background have images automatically editing themselves so you can get pretty complicated with how much stuff you want to do um, but here you can see you know every couple of seconds that process that took me two minutes manually do now the computer is doing it in about you know two to five seconds on its own while I'm free to do other stuff and uh, the images look really good too like, check it out I really like these scans with the, the Epson DS 510 that's what I use for my scans it does a great job even after I kind of compress and dampen the quality a little bit um, so that's the edited version that's got a little bit of reduced file size let's compare it to the original here so you can kind of see like it is a little bit more crisp I think it's not too big of a difference but they come out really nice Anyway, that's how you automate your image editing. This is part of my process for how I list over 100 trading cards per hour, and uh, I hope it was helpful.